seen a couple of erroneous vids, so let me add my two cents. Let's go! Before buying an SSD, check that it's okay to install in a PS5. You want one like this, with a heatsink that isn't overly gigantic, so it'll fit in the PS5. If you can get one that says it's PlayStation licensed, it's pretty much guaranteed. Reason for the heatsink is that if they overheat, they will likely slow down, potentially leading to increased load times or stutter as assets load during gameplay. Remember, if you use this before, it will get formatted on install, deleting anything that was on it. To open the PS5, you first want to remove the stand. It's the bottom of the PS5 that you want to access. Do so by gripping the top left and bottom right. Slide the whole cover to the right. The drive bay lives under this cover. A number one Phillips or crosshead screwdriver is what Sony says you should use. If you have various unlabeled sizes and you're not sure, you want to use whatever locks in place. No wiggle room, else you risk stripping the screw. Here I like to gently check how much it moves when twisting. Do push down slightly when the driver can enter the socket to prevent it from just spinning out. If it doesn't even fit, you know what to do. If it clearly goes in but moves a lot, try different sizes. This one has the least movement for me. Just like opening a screw cap bottle, we rotate counterclockwise to remove screws. If you are unsure, test remove a screw on something cheap before you do this. Alright, screw removed. Now we can remove the SSD cover. Here we can see another screw. Empty screw holes, the edge of a PCB, and the SSD connector. A closer look at the SSD connector shows that you can see the key on the right hand side. The socket is elevated to the PCB, even more so to the chassis, as the PCB ends soon after the socket as well. Same trick for removing the screw in place for the SSD. It's the same size screw head, unless some factory decided to troll someone. They call these things a screw and a spacer. The spacer keeps the SSD level, taking into consideration the height of the connector versus the drive bay we just looked at. This M.2 SSD is a 2280 type. 2280 relates to its length. There are various sizes. The PS5 supports 110, 80, 60, 42 and 30. Don't put the spacer on top of the SSD like this. The spacer goes under the SSD. If you're not sure what length the SSD is, just do a visual check prior to committing to the install. Put the spacer in between the three bumps labelled the size of your drive. Doing so keeps it level, won't cause stress on the pins that could lead to damaging the SSD or PS5, and gives space for heat dissipation under it as well. Best chance for maintaining high performance. Although the SSD is keyed, orientation with a heatsink is pretty hard to get wrong. Heatsink goes up. Start with the drive angled up slightly. Lower it a little and push it fully in. You might hear a quiet click. It's designed to handle some lift. It even naturally sits that way. You can see the driver sitting flush and aligned perfectly with the spacer. Secure with the screw. At first you could try winding back a little to help align the screw's external and internal threads to prevent cross-threading. Else. Just pay close attention to how it feels. Any resistance, stop. Don't over tighten. I like to use only two fingers for tightening. Pressing down with the other hand to keep the screwdriver head in place. This prevents you from tightening the screw like the Hulk, where you either strip it or you risk stripping it if you ever need to remove the SSD. Alright, reattach and fasten the expansion slot cover. You may also want to do a little de-dust prior to this. But yeah, otherwise just do the same two finger tighten technique when tightening this screw as well. Perhaps do a quick overall de-dusting. And do the reverse to put the cover back on. That is, put it on slightly too far to the right so that you can slide it left and click it back into place. Done. 
Once again, reminder that the PlayStation 5 will format the drive when you first turn it on. I don't need an outro.